All right, so let's build a platformer in Godot. Okay, so we have our game pretty much running, but it's kind of boring. There's no music, there's no sound effects or anything like that. And if we just drop nodes into our level for those sort of things, you can run into some issues. Like when you switch scenes, like if you're loading a new level or something like that, everything will get cut off and like ab abruptly like stopped. Similarly, like if you're picking up coins or things like that, you don't want to attach your sound to your coin because the coin gets removed from the scene and the sound would get cut off before it had a chance to fully play. So to deal with that, we use the game manager. Um, so we set up the game manager earlier with our GUI. What we can actually do is go in here and create a couple of nodes. So we have our audio stream player. And let's just add two of these. And we'll call the first one you know, background music, and we'll call the second one sound effects. And what's cool about having these in the game manager is just how we can access the game manager from anywhere in our game. The background music and the sound effects will always be available to trigger, right? So what we can do is we'll come in here to assets and we'll go ahead and create a new folder for let's say sounds and then we can just drag in I've got a bunch of different sounds here I'll, I'll put the link in the description for all the different packs so you can grab these sounds yourself or you can use you know any number of sounds that you like um, we'll just drag these into our sounds folder and we are good to go so let's start with background music that's the easiest one because basically we come into our stream and we're just gonna drag that in there and now we have light ambiance and so we'll bring it down to you know pretty low bring it down you know to like there now we'll select autoplay on and then play our scene and our music is playing in the background Perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we want to be able to play sound effects. So to do this, um, we're going to set up a function inside our game manager script um, that will allow us to basically trigger and play sound effects. So we'll go function uh, play sound effects, and we're going to pass it a stream. And then we want to grab our sound effects audio stream player and set the stream equal to the stream we passed in. And then we want to grab our sound effects again and just trigger play. And that's all we need to do in the game manager to have access to our sound effects player. So now what we can do is, you know, come over to say coin for instance, right? And where we get our coin, Let's go ahead and just game manager dot play sound effects. And then in here, we need to load a file, right? And so um, I've got this pickup coin number seven, and I'll just drag that in. And it's going to go ahead and put the path for the coin right there. And so we can just um, basically play our scene now. And we got our coin. It's a little loud, so what we may want to do is come over to our sound effects and just drop that way down. There we go. So now we have sounds every time we pick up our coins, and that's going to play through our game manager sound effects audio stream. And, uh, and that's it. So you can basically scatter these around wherever you want to have sounds in your game and you will automatically play them through the game manager uh, sound effects audio stream player.